Why hello everyone, welcome back. And today, and I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers. Now, what's on the agenda today? Well, it's that time again. It's time to clean the coffee grinder. So, we're gonna be working on my coffee grinder. This, my, my Ranchelio, uh, no, my Ranchelio Rocky. They have a great little coffee grinder here. And if you want, you can check out the review video up that should be up on that little corner there. So, the co so the Rocky is a little harder to clean than most other than most other coffee grinders, but it's not that hard. It really isn't that hard, and you have me to guide you through it. So, without further ado, let's get start. Let's get started. You will need to clean out your Rocky include a flat-headed screwdriver, a paintbrush, and a vacuum. So, so the first step to cleaning your Rocky is to make sure your Rocky is unplugged, as you can see by the, by the thing over there. And then, you want to unscrew the free screws in the center. Now, unlike, now, unlike the Gaja MDF grinder where they, put, where, got, where they put free little rubber end caps on the top to keep coffee beans from coming in there, Ranchilio did not. So before you get started, take your screwdriver and jam in there and get rid of all the coffee grind, all the old coffee beans that, are in, that can be in there. So, we're going to get started by taking unscrewing these free screws they are flathead screws so use your flat make sure you use a flathead screwdriver that's why i mentioned it before all right all right now you just take the little ring out you little ring out right here this this is the little grinds guard to make sure you don't get that you don't put your hands in there, and then you want to put the then you want to manage these free little screw put the put it over here put it down, then you want to take your grinds container and pull it off and you want to be careful that you make sure your grinds container is empty or almost empty because otherwise beans will go flying because otherwise beans will go flying everywhere so and we do not want that. All right. So now you want to take your grind. So now you want to take your beans container. You want to run it and you want to clean it under warm, soapy water with a brush. Don't put. I would not recommend putting this part in the dishwasher. So just so it doesn't warp and. And because otherwise it won't fit. Make sure you get you get all the little chunks out of there. Nice warm water. Just rinse it one last time. Rinse it one last time. And, and good. All right. So now we're gonna take our vacuum cleaner and we're gonna suck out all the rest of the coffee beans in the top collar in the top collar of the bird. So all you need to do is just turn the bird on. Turn the bird on. They are. You also want to look out for these. People say these edges are sharp. I've never cut myself on them, but just be careful. So, j but just be careful. So, take off your top collar. Just take your, just hold, you take hold of the top collar. And you turn it, and you turn it counterclockwise. You keep turning it. You keep turning it counterclockwise until it comes off. It's quite fine for it, so it may take you a little while. So just be careful. So just be careful about the edges that I was talking about earlier. just comes up and there's your top bar so now we want to take your cut you want to take your brush take your brush right here just try to clean up all right here and don't worry about this part too much because especially these little pieces especially these little see these little crevices right here these crevices you want to make sure you clean up and make sure the leftovers are growing into the actual coffee container so now into the actual grinding chamber, grinding chamber. So, then, now we're gonna go wash this in the sink. So, welcome back to the kitchen sink. So now we're gonna clean our coffee. Now we're gonna clean the the coffee gr the topper itself. So, now is the time you where you want to inspect your bl your burr. If your burr looks like it has dull edges, then you want to replace it. But we're but mine is still my grinder is still pretty new, so we don't need to replace them. We don't need to replace the burrs yet. Maybe some, maybe in a future video, 
But now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna run it under hot so under hot soapy water. Now, turn the hot soapy water on. And you wanna make sure that you get all the crevices. The ground top of the fur, especially in the little crevices I was talking about. Especially around the threads, because these threads, these brass threads attract coffee grinds pretty well. So, now once you get it all completely clean, and also don't forget the top part, the top part is what comes there. Do not forget to clean the top part, make it all, ni make it all nice and pretty. Alright. That should be enough. Alright. Now we just gotta go clean the bottom. Back from the kitchen sink. Now is the next important part. We're gonna take our toothbrush, uh, not toothbrush, our paintbrush. Please make sure you use a, please make sure you use a clean paintbrush, wash it off beforehand. So, now we're gonna t use this paintbrush and we're gonna take out, move all this crap off the topper. All the old coffee, especially if you use flavored coffee recently. I actually recently used like a hit, a, um, not I use not mint flavored coffee recently. Make sure that you clean the all that stuff out because that stuff will get stuck in here, which I found. Just push it all towards the little outlet, and that is one of the gripes about this grind. My gripes about this grinder, like probably the only one I have, is how the is how the outlet of the grinder is so small that the coffee clumps up really badly, and that's the reason why it clumps up really badly. As you can see, I need to be more careful because I just sweeped it out into the coffee grinder. Thankfully, I can vacuum up the, we, we're gonna vacuum all this stuff up later. All right. Now, we we'll take our vacuum again, the vacuum from earlier. Uh, turn the vacuum on. Now it's nice and clean in there. All right, now that everything's nice and clean, we can put everything back together. All right, guys. So I had to re I had to relocate my my I had to relocate my operation here, but that is, that's not important. So we're gonna put the grinder back together now. So it's very this part is very important. You do not want to cross thread these little very fine threads right here because this is the part that a lot of people mess up and can be very expensive and can be very expensive to replace if you end up if you end up ruining the threads you have to buy a whole new piece which can be quite expensive so we're, it's very it's quite simple though with this one little trick so the way we do it like this we put it like this and then you just put it on here just put it on the top like right like right in the middle of the top and you turn back you turn it counterclockwise until there, until you feel it drop in, until you feel it, until you feel it drop in, then you can keep going. As long as it's like more, more or less freely, freely going in there, like it's out, like it's going out. Yeah, be careful. Don't, don't, don't hurt yourself on the sharp casing. Now you just keep moving it. Now you just keep spinning clockwise, basically until you cannot spin it anymore. That should be your grinder zero setting point. Normally, you could go a little further. Around here should be your z grinder zero grind point. Now here, now here is also so right here is an adjustable collar right here. This stop. Make sure you do not go past zero. This grinder right here. This. This little set, so this little setting right here, this little slider right here, make sure you do not go past zero. Except in the factory, on all the Rockies, it's a set point, so you cannot adjust it. Because when you go adjusting, when you go playing with and adjusting with this, with this grind collar, it will, it will kind of reposition itself. And this, this one here, you can adjust if you need to, but you shouldn't have to. So, don't, I wouldn't worry about it too much. So, right here... Should be your grinder's set zero grind point. The 
It looks like I need to turn a little further. Looks like I need to come back to my ground of zero grind point. So looks like I need to go a little further. There we go. Now, another good way to tell is these screws. So once you get to the zero grind point, like I am, like I am that. So once you get to your, hold on. Once you get to your zero, once you get to your zero grind point, like where, where zero is now. All right, and that's it. That's how you clean out the. That's how you deep clean your wrench or rocket. So guys, I actually found out that my that my grinder actually moved a little. That my grinder settings actually moved a little bit. Now, this is a common thing on rock on. Wrench or Rockies, where we're, where you're recalibrating, where you're recalibrating them, and we're recalibrating, re re recalibrating them. Well, Recal, we're recalibrating them, and the and the settings actually change on you, so the setting is not no longer at zero. And this is a pretty easy fix. You can either just mark it that as zero, use a little pencil and mark it, or sharpie and mark it as zero, or you can use a little sliding adjuster I talked about earlier to admit, to create. To to readjust the battery. All right. Anyways, that's pretty and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. That's a, that's all I have today. It was very it was pretty simple. And I and I and now you guys can go do it for yourself. All right, guys. That's pretty much it. Please, please like and subscribe and please follow me at, on Insta my on my new Instagram account, the Young Barista at the Young at the Young Barista O Seven. All right. Please follow there for some. And for some behind the scenes content, because I just posted some behind the scenes content on today's video. Alright, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Take care of the young barista.